Here at the world's largest RV show in Hershey, Pennsylvania, we are with Mr. Actually, excuse me. Do we call you Mr. RV Doctor or Dr. RV Doctor or Dr. RV just, or just Gary or Doctor? Gary Doctor. Yeah. Okay, Doctor Gary. Mm -hmm. Tell me about batteries. Now that's a big topic today because you've got giant motorhomes that have six and twelve batteries in them just for the house, but now you've got the sprinter-based motorhomes that just have two batteries. Mm -hmm. um, Deep cycle marine, regular automotive batteries. Everybody's got a different opinion. Mm -hmm. What does the doctor say about batteries? My opinion house about batteries. Batter, about house batteries specifically. Yep. My opinion is you can never carry an, as as a much, as much amperage as you should. Always carry as much as what you have room to store the current, and as much as your wallet will endure. That's the bottom line. Wallet can endure. Okay. Yeah, because they're costly. Some of these new the new technology batteries are, are a little bit more costly than what uh, uh, RVers may be accustomed to. The second thing, and the most important thing, is have the cap the capacity to fully charge these batteries. What do you I mean by that? Well, I maintain that most RVs on the road today never leave the dealership um, or leave the, the uh, home base on a trip with the batteries literally fully charged. There's, there, there's always that fear of overcharging, which is damaging to the mm -hmm. batteries, but typically most batteries are undercharged, and there's not a sophisticated, there's not many sophisticated methods out there of charging. There's plenty of good aftermarket products that I recommend to make sure that your batteries are literally fully charged without the fear of overcharging or the damage of overcharging. Well, how about the person that says, well, just drive your vehicle and it will charge the, the, the car, but the, you know, the engine battery will charge the house batteries. True or false? Well, true. The alternator will split the amperage from the output of the alternator to charge both the, uh, the house battery as well as the engine battery. But what state of charge is that battery in when you start your trip? You might have to drive from here to Toledo to charge the battery or from here to Philadelphia or maybe back to my home in Seattle. There's just really no way of knowing until you have the sophisticated uh, computer-based technology geared to that battery type because there are different types of okay. house batteries out there. So it's very sophisticated. It's not just like sticking a battery charger and letting it go for 30 minutes or running okay. the generator. Now, what about... Um what can the average person do to check their batteries about adding water and, and when should they check it? Uh, literally before every single trip you always want to check the okay. electrolyte level if you have wet cell batteries. Yep. Uh, we talked to a couple people yesterday who had trouble and forgot to check their electrolyte level. The coach has been plugged in in storage or in, in their at their house for a long time. It boils the water out of the uh, out of the electrolyte and then you have some damage taking place. So I would definitely check it uh, before every trip and probably if you're a full timer at least once a month.